This is Namrata Gulati Sapra, Deputy Editor at SOAR Energy International. We are right now with Mr. Siddharth Charkha, who is CBO at HCT Sun. This is a US owned, India based solar power firm. Thank you, Mr. Siddharth, for joining us. Hi, Namrata. Thanks for having me on SOAR Energy. So, uh, tell us about your firm. So, as you mentioned, HCT Sun is a US owned company. We are primarily in the OPEX business in India catering specially to SMEs, which no one else does it generally caters to. Uh, we are using high performance uh, components to increase the performance of the projects there. Beside that, we have partnered with Solar Geek. It's an Israel-based company. Uh, we, with them, we are launching very innovative trackers in India. We are manufacturing trackers in India, exporting it globally. We have expanded to 10 countries. And in India, we are targeting these trackers for non-traditional terrains. Uh, why the SME sector? So we believe that SMEs are generally not targeted by the big comp uh, companies because of their credit worthiness, uh, but they still part of very integral part of the manufacturing ecosystem. They are part of any manufacturing setup, setup as a vendor. So I think for them also, because they are very energy intensive, it's important for them to reduce their energy bills as well. So we are specially catering to these companies. Tell us about your uh, international presence. So internationally, uh, we are working with Solar Geek to export, uh, export trackers in uh, North America, in Europe, in uh, Middle Asia, and in South Africa and in India. And beyond that, uh, in India, what we are doing is we have launched the three products. One of them is Ground Tracker. So this is a very versatile tracker in very, very short table lengths. And it works up to very high slopes of 30 degrees. So as we see more and more developers are facing challenges of land being not perfect. You know, they are not rectangular, they are not flat. And there are a lot of patches in between where you cannot have panels. So this tracker, unlike the traditional trackers, it increases the power density. Second is our rooftop tracker. So this, this tracker being the lightest tracker in the market, we can work it on rooftop as well. We have installed these trackers on RCC roofs. We have installed these trackers on metal roofs. And third system is the Agri-PV. So as you're aware that Agri-PV is the new talk of town because yeah. how we want to maximize the dual usage of land. Right. India has both growing population and growing economy and yeah. land has competing demands. Right. So because this tracker is very light, we can raise this tracker's height up to five and six meters yeah. and we can have crops grown underneath. And with this cutting edge algorithm and the software that Sologic has, we can incorporate the Agri-PV uh, growth and also the optimized power generation. And that is something Mr. Mo, who is from Solar Geek also is going to speak about tomorrow. Right, right. So, uh, you just spoke about the various segments in solar trackers. Which one has been uh, the biggest hit in the market for you in the India market? So, I think for rooftop, we are the only one in the market. So, we will see a lot of traction, but it's just recently launched. But in terms of the tracker market, the tracker has really grown leaps and bounds in the last one and a half, two years in India. All the big tier one companies have huge capacities already booked for themselves. And we are getting a very good pipeline for ourselves as well. People are appreciating the, the, how the kind of benefits that the traditional trackers are not giving them. So we see a, a very big traction for ground trackers and for uh, rooftop trackers as well. Agri-PV, we think in some month, some few months down the line, with the strong policy push that government will bring in, that will also see a lot of traction. And uh, what are your capacities in these segments? So for trackers, we can currently we are at one gigawatt a year capacity. We can easily go up to three gigawatt a year in the next couple of years. Uh, same goes for uh, rooftop and agri PV. Okay. And uh, do you think that you know until last year there was this talk that you know trackers perhaps are uh, you know no longer going to be popular? Do you think that there's been a resurgence in the market of solar trackers? Yeah. So I think when people compare trackers and uh, they think it from the perspective that the module five prices are the function in which they decide how the tracker should be used, but we see more and more. Uh, technology oriented companies are looking at tracker because uh, if you look at the life cycle of the project of 25 years you still want your plant to perform at optimum levels a few years down the line and secondly in terms of the generation profile that the grid wants and typically even for the cni customers right they have their power demand constant throughout the day right. tracker gives you a very constant flat profile of generation as compared right. to fixed tail system right. and trackers have shown that they're very reliable unlike the 
previous perspective that tracker is a new technology but that has also matured so more and more people are getting warmed up to tracker now and we see a very good uptick on tracker issues and uh, how do you see the bifacial solar solar modules since their popularity has also been rising when coupled with the bisolar uh, uh, bifacial solar modules how do you see the energy gains so i think uh, bifacial the price difference is not much between a normal module and a bifacial especially using with tracker uh, the 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 usage of the benefit of bifacial increases leaps and bounds so i think more and more people are looking for bifacial as a technology uh, for rooftop because people did not have an option of tracker everyone it doesn't didn't make sense to go for bifacial right. but with tracker tracker being launched even in rooftop market and even in agri pv because you have such high height i think bifacial would be the way to go uh, in near future and tell us about your uh, upcoming projects so we have a lot of projects which we which still in pipeline we can't uh, talk about but we are uh, exploring a lot of projects that we are in uh, very mature stages of discussion across all over india with south of india in gujarat and other states of india how has you know if we look at the solar market gujarat has particularly been doing very well so how is the tracker market in gujarat so i think if you talk about gujarat so ntpc is leading with the front with the khavra solar park with ntpc is coming with coming up with huge tenders and all these tenders have tracker as a main uh, component so i think with the push push coming from uh, ntpc which is very very uh, ahead in terms of technology adoption i think gujarat is a very nice place where you can see a lot of tracker adoption which we can already see from the tenders right right so what are the capacities that you're expecting uh, in terms of the timeline and uh, you know in the pipeline for us so we expect uh, in the next couple of years we will be at least 500 megawatt in year and after that we expect to be in gigawatt capacity thank you so much for joining us thank, thank you so